Hello everyone, how are you? This is Deb. Welcome to the first installment of Hashtag Scrap Bin Saturday. Uh, this will be airing on Saturday, February 24th. And this collab is hosted by Megan W. And if you look that up, you'll find several Megan W. So I'm going to put the link to the right one in the description box below. And a little information about the collab. It's basically we are to work through our scraps and only use our scraps. Now, our scraps and then some other ancillary stuff like I am probably going to try and use up some washi tape along with these scraps and possibly some sticker packs that have been opened. I haven't gone through all of those just yet. But in this first installment, I'm going to try and make yet another small dent. Oops, sorry. I shouldn't do that right. <laughs> I have to go through this and clean it up. I just, as you, if you've been following me, you know, I've had some life things going on and they're going to continue and uh, that'll be a separate video. But anyway, I, I have to use some of this and I think for this round, I'm probably going to use these and maybe this, but what I'm going to do, oh yeah, maybe that and that and maybe this bird thing. I might just try something. I'm going to do, I'm late with last week's planner. Basically, I'm more than late. I haven't done it. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to try and use some of these scraps here, maybe this, if not, maybe some of this, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to try and use some of this mess of scraps, little and big, um, to work on my planner for the week ending, hmm, the 25th. <laughs> So I'll be back soon, as soon as I cut some papers up, and we'll do a very late plan with me for hashtag Scrap Bin Saturday. Welcome! I hope you'll stick around. Hello everybody. Okay, so I kind of started. I had this one long piece. It was just a little too wide, and of course I cut it a little too thin, but I covered up the February up here, which I have to trim just a little bit. Um, oops, and um, I haven't cut the other scraps yet, but I wanted to show you that I picked out some washi, and now the washi, um, I have, <laughs> let me show you in just a sec, oh goodness, see these stickers, these stickers, these scissors are not non-stick like the Tim Holtz ones, but they do. A good job. Um, this washi, well, let me tell you, I have two drawers here, two sets of three drawers, and there, there's interdesign eyeglass holder cases, and I learned about them through Robin's Nest here on YouTube, and they work really well for washi, but these are not all my washi. These are primarily uh, skinny washies. I had the Valentine's washi in, which I kind of moved to the back now. Um, you know, some basic washies, and then a couple ones that I liked. Like, I have a bottom drawer that's mostly donuts and foody stuff. I have some metallic ones. I have a floral one, and I have kind of a boho drawer. And this, I, uh, these tubes of this size, not the real tall ones, fit perfectly in those Sure. So I just like to leave them in the containers, which I've shown you before, so I know what brand they were because they don't have it labeled on the inside of most of them unless it's um, duct tape brand. Um, so I found this washi, and I'm not saying I want to use up all this washi, but I need to use washi because I have four iris containers full of it, and that's not counting what I pulled out to put in my Christmas stash so yeah I have too much washi but I love it anyway um so I pulled out this tube I don't know if it has a name it's by recollections 
it was number 487837 and I had gotten it on clearance last year at Michael's for $7.99 says it was $10 so I guess that wasn't such a great deal but I think I got something off of that too like a 20% off everything coupon or something anyway I have decided to do the um, washi tape first this time I don't know why I just want to <laughs> I just want to so just because I know I didn't take that all the way to the edge because I wanted the B here to be to be or not to be it looks like I covered up the date so I'm gonna I mean the day so I will have to fix that because I don't I'm not one to cover up the days are you I don't know well, I'm gonna be hop I'll be happy instead of be happy on that one. All right, I have to move this down a little bit. See? Ay, ay, ay. Anyway, I'm going to put the washi down and then I'm going to put you on hold because that's not really good enough either yet, is it? Okay. Down a little bit, see more. Right about there and now I don't have it over far enough <laughs> oh my goodness all right I can see why people stand up to craft because sometimes you just need to well I'll just cut that little bitsy off I'll just cut that little bitsy off um, because sometimes you have to really look down over to see how you're doing you know what I mean you know what I mean? Is this the right thing? Yes. All right. This is a retractable craft, um, what do you call them? I guess that's called a craft knife. And I ordered it online from somewhere a while back. Okay. Yeah. I really like that. It works really good. I have the little button. You go pop. And there you go. Really like that. I'm going to have to hole punch here. But I'll wait until I'm done because I'm sure I'll have more to do. Okay. So that's the first one. I think the second one will not be words. I'm really needing to think happy, be happy. Because this has been a rough couple weeks for me. And unfortunately, that is not going to change. Um... I wasn't going to talk about that in this video, but I guess I will because this is kind of a plan with me chit chat video, right? Anyway, um, my mother got well enough to go to rehab, but she's still on oxygen. That might be ending soon because she had some fluid in her lungs. And, um, however, the, um, Oh, what are they called? They are called occupational therapy, occupational therapist. We had a care plan meeting today at the nursing rehab center and um, not good guys. She, I mean, it's too early. They've only met with her once, but basically she now has the beginning of dementia and um, personally I think because up until about two weeks ago really her mind was sharper than mine in some cases like uh, memory wise and I hate to say that because but dementia my dad had dementia Probably the last 14 years of his life were not real great and um, I mean progressively worse I guess is how I should put it um, but mom has always had a sharp mind and um, when this last time she fell she fell at home but either I don't know if she was I think she was totally awake this time and not passed out and she hit the, she had a medic alert, which I made her get uh, the prior year when she was in the hospital. And um, 
thank goodness and she had the necklace on and she pushed the button um but she might have passed out or not thought to push the button right away because she um i don't know something happened because she was really i don't know if she had a i'll call it an event of some kind like a heart event I thought maybe she had a mini stroke, but she was able to talk and stuff. But my dad had mini strokes, and he was still able to talk and everything. Um, that was before he was really bad in dementia. And um, so I personally think something happened, and she may have had some mini stroke because in the hospital and here, her mind is not there. And either that or she was panting for breath so hard before they ever put her on oxygen that um that maybe she didn't have enough oxygen to her brain and something happened you know i don't i don't know i mean and the other thing is she's 89 i mean <laughs> you know i don't personally think i'm gonna make it to 89 my dad didn't um he made it to 79 but like i said the last like 14 years of his life were not so good and um so anyway um yeah she's got signs of dementia and i had noticed that as well but i didn't realize it was as bad as it as it um uh, was reported to be by the occupational therapist because she said she put her through quite a number of questions and exercises they do you know like mental exercises they do and she didn't do so good was how it came out like <laughs> didn't get many of them correct or i uh, couldn't remember many of them things like major car brands and stuff like that is was the example she gave and i'm like Ew. <laughs> and it's funny because mom and i've just recently been talking about car brands and stuff because I need I'm gonna need a new car in the next I don't know not this year hopefully unless something happens majorly <laughs> but um you know, I kind of messed that up anyway um so it surprised me that that was one of them and she couldn't she couldn't think of that so yeah that's that's saddens me truthfully but, um, so anyway, my life is gonna get busier because what that'll mean, and mom sort of has agreed to this now, actually, is that I'm probably gonna need to, her home will not be the home as she knows it now, uh, upon leaving rehab at some point. And the other thing is, uh, I thought she was going to be in rehab for nine days on IVs, but when I mentioned that today, they said, who told you that? And I said, well, that was what the hospital said, nine days for intravenous IV. And they said, well, it will probably be longer than that. We're probably talking a couple of weeks, but it all depends on if she's showing progress. They have to be able to prove to the insurance companies that some progress is being made. So basically, bottom line is, I don't know yet. I won't know till maybe next week um, what the real plan is going to be. But, and then things are going to happen probably pretty quickly as far as what I'm going to have to do. Anyway, okay guys, I'm going to put you on, uh, well, I'll be back. <laughs> I have to cut papers. I don't really know if I'm liking this, but I'm going with it. All right, see you soon. Okay, everybody, this is where I'm at so far. Looks kind of funky, and I'm going to make it funkier. <laughs> I don't know. I'm in a mood tonight, I guess, but I have this um, tree with bluebird things cut out, or blue birds, three birds in it. It was a die cut, a uh, paper shape, or whatever, that I had, you know, paper shaped. <laughs> So I'm going to use it as a stencil on this same color with just white, white gesso. And I have a bunch of these funky cardboard craft stick things. And this one has a rip in it anyway. I'm gonna, I couldn't find my 
I know they're like right in front of my nose over here somewhere, but I couldn't find my popsicle stick things. So I'm going to use this as a spatula thingy and smear it all over this thing and pull it up and hope I have something that looks, oh, I guess I'm getting low on gesso, so I better add that to my next shopping list. <laughs> Yes, I know you can make some, but I, at this point in time, do not have it in me to do that. I don't know how to do this, guys. I never did this stenciling stuff. Well, I tried once, and I totally messed it up, so I don't know how you do this or if it's going to work. It seems kind of runny, like it's going to be underneath, but you know what? It's only paper. Yeah, it's only paper. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So that should be enough. Oh, maybe not. Uh-oh. <laughs> all right, I gotta get that up off of my mat. This is why I don't do live videos. Brandy. Because I am a newbie crafter, not an experienced crafter like some other friends of ours. I truly am a newbie crafter. I really only started crafting other than jewelry in January of 2017. I started planning a couple months before that, but I mean, I was into the, oh, buy sticker mode and plan with stickers only kind of mode. And um, now I'm into more of the stickers and other stuff. I'm ruining my good mat. Anyway... Um, yeah, so let's see what happens with this. I see I paint me more than, more than I paint whatever. It's not really paint, gesso. And I just have it on here with washi tape. So let's see what happens. And if it's a mess, I'll figure something else out for the planner. But I kind of really wanted to, all right, let's see, let's see. bad for my first try. <laughs> Not terrible. I'm going to save this. I might even be able to use it again because that gesso on there might stiffen that up. Might stiffen it up. All right. I'm all over the place, huh? Oh gosh, I have more. More mess. More mess. So what do you think, guys? I might be able to use that, huh? And what I was thinking, hang on. Oh shoot, I really should put my messy mat down first. Okay. Because I'm a messy. Um, what I was thinking of is putting it right here. Not with those bits of washi on. Um, Yeah, I might round the corner some and whatnot. I'm just putting it there. I might trim a little off. But I guess I'll be back because I have to let that dry. And I don't know. It's not perfect. But it's better than I thought it would be. <laughs> so that's a good thing. Yeah, I think I'm going to cut it so at least it's not overlapping Thursday. But I might leave the rest of it like that. All right, guys. I'll see you soon. Maybe when it's done. Bye-bye for now. All right, everyone. Um, this is where I'm at. <laughs> um, yeah, I did put that on. And then I put some of that flower, floral washi that was in this same tube. Down this one here. Um, all around. And then I had this piece of doily left. And I used it sort of as a frame at the top. And I put the last little bit of that doily down here in this corner. And I punched out with a little flower punch that I got at um, Joann's and Miss Sparkle and Company for 99 cents or a dollar, something like that, recently. Um, I used this green paper. That I've been trying to use up. I still have a few more blank spots to punch stuff out. It had words on the back and green dots. And I think this came out of the Petals and Blooms um, paper, if I remember correctly. I'm not positive. 
Um, I have a mixture of papers. I have that. I have, um, what is this called? Theodore. I forget. There's a couple DCWV and, uh, and, um, paper studio papers in here. Um, this one is different than this one and this one. So these two came out the same. These three came out the same. And then the blue is probably a recollections, um, cardstock that was in my scraps. But then I found I needed something to cover up the, the gesso that got splotched a little bit. There's another splotch there I see. So I found this sheet of butterflies, which I'm trying to use up. So that's also scraps, sort of. And I found this, uh, no, I didn't use that at all. That was insects. And I just used the butterflies. And what I put across the top up here is actually cut from this washi, different um, little things from the washi. And I just put them here and up here. But I'm still going to go into my sticker books because I want to look for some kind of inspirational something for over along the edge here. And um, this is really different for me. And I still have one other thing I think I want to try. So I'm going to come back and I'll tell you what I end up with. Okay, guys? See you soon. All right, everyone, final segment. Um, I went through my stickers and I used some out of this watercolor 1078 piece um, Create 365 book and also some out of this Recollections um, Creative Year book 290 piece from, I don't know, last year sometime, I think. Anyway, the quotes I came up with are Your Heart Knows the Way. Um, probably put that because a nurse in, or an aide or somebody in the hospital told me probably time for me to do some soul searching, which I was really rather angry about at first, but, um, cause I've been soul searching for two years relative to my mother, but I guess it's time to do more. So, and then life is tough, but so are you. And I don't know if I like being pegged as tough, but I have been by my family members and, and as a result, everything falls to me, but I have to be right now. I have to be tough. Okay. So Monday is a blur. I don't remember what I did Monday. <laughs> I think I did a little bit of crafting, but honestly, I don't remember. I don't remember. So Tuesday was, um, hospital. mom chores at her house with my son, then back to hospital, then transfer to nursing home. It was a long day and that is all I basically got done. I think I watched some videos that night and that was it. Um, Wednesday night I watched, um, can't spell T-C-H Judy Evans Parker live video at lunchtime I did walk with my daughter thank goodness that was a nice walk it was 76 degrees that day Fahrenheit <laughs> gorgeous and today is uh, well, let's just say the rain was in the forecast for four days after that. Uh, I also did laundry on Wednesday times two. I only got two loads done. I have about four, but oh well. Um, and I can't remember what I did after that. There was something else I did that day. Um, and then Thursday I had 9.45 blood work and 1.30 care plan at nursing home, but I actually got there, let's just say, at 11.30 to 1.00. 
at mom's because I had to check her mail and do stuff like that. Um, and I was there at the nursing home till 3.30. And I was going to go see Charlie Friday evening, however, he was probably exposed to someone with the flu, and I don't want to risk getting that right now, and I guess I should put down here, planning an intro video to hashtag Wrap in Saturday. There we go. Um, I know in the morning I watched um, Mars Brandy and Tina live. And I'll probably do that on Friday also. And Saturday PM Mom at nursing home. I had to visit and take her some more clothes and get her dirties and stuff like that. Friday is major craft and mailing day. I'm so far behind, guys. Please forgive me. But it's just been crazy nutsy, you know. I have a lot going on. As we all do. Alright, I think that's going to be it. I can't remember what happened on Wednesday other than the walk and the laundry. Um, like I said, I'm behind. So there's it. A little different for me. I tried, um, you know, covering multiple boxes. And I felt okay doing that. Okay, so what I put over here is think it, dream it, plan it, do it. Because I'll have to do my next planner for Sunday. Make good use of today, which is really meant for Friday. But I don't want it up here because it would take up the whole box. I found some hearts also where the you know, same book as the quotes. Um, these quotes. I also found this today thing. So I covered up part of this. The busy day and the be calm. Because that was a long day and <laughs> I get a little frazzled. Um, that came out of the same as, uh, what was it called? It was called watercolor as these quotes, this, this did. So let me know what you think, guys. I think it's different. I don't think I can do that every week. I have too much to do. I need the white space to write in most times. But that's kind of where I'm at for this week. And this is my first installment of hashtag Scrap Bin Saturday collaboration with Megan W. And it's also a plan with me. Talk to you soon, guys. Hugs, love, and peace. Take care of yourselves. Life's too short. Tell somebody that's close to you that you love them. Okay. Bye-bye.